Hello everyone, this is Thingy from the Sanctum of the Soul and it has been a while since my last video. Um, that is because I haven't been able to receive any of my decks due to COVID. Uh, but recently I just got this deck from a friend in Singapore um, who runs a tarot and other um, spiritual slash new age slash weekend um, paraphernalia shop um, online and uh, basically she gets things at a lower rate than you would get anywhere else due to shipping um, so if you are residing in Singapore hers is a very viable option that you might want to check out um, I will include her shop link in the description um, so do check it out uh, she sells at retail prices, but you don't have to pay exorbitant shipping fees um, that you would incur otherwise. Anyway, moving on. So this is the Threats of Fate Oracle. Um, I, I, you will have... <laughs> my tongue's tied. You will remember that I have done a review of this deck. It, this is the Shadow Edition, and this is the more recent... Lumen edition. So the reason I didn't want to get the original Threads of Fate was because of the white border. Um, I'm not really uh, into borders on my decks, so that wasn't, um, well, that didn't appeal to me. Um, but this deck has no borders, um, if it's as promised. So that's why I couldn't resist because the energy just from the computer screen um, of looking at the decks is so different. This one is so muted, so mystical, while this one is a more vibrant and joyful colour. So I couldn't resist and I had to get this deck. So a good um, first observation about the decks are that the boxes are almost the same dimension. Um, Material is a bit different, but the dimensions are more or less the same. So this allows for easy storage um, on your shelves. It is a very nice way to display it. Um, I would have liked to see something like that on the site, so at least there would have been a unifying um, motif you know, on your shelf, but it's fine. So uh, one thing I don't like about decks with no words on the side is sometimes there are decks that have similar color schemes and if you are putting them um you know like facing this way on the shelves it's very difficult to tell at a glance what each deck is so i would like to have you know some words or some way to identify the decks on the spines if you can call it the spines the spine yeah, it's way too early, so my tongue's still tied. Anyway, so moving on, let's just get to it. This video, I will try to cut it short because the cards are exactly the same. I have rearranged this to the best of my knowledge um, according to the guidebook. So if there are cards that aren't um, where they're supposed to be, then uh, I do apologize in advance. I do like this sticker. It says Made in China. Um, you know how some deck, you, you know the stigma um, surrounding Chinese products, but I love how this just had a gold sticker stuck onto it, just proudly proclaiming that it's from China. Um, and that's completely fine, because recently um, some Chinese publishers have been publishing um, fantastic quality decks. I think the um, Orion's Tarot was from China, or was it Hong Kong? Um, well, that one's Hong Kong, sorry. So I don't know which decks are from China, but I think some of the publishers have been really good. <sighs> okay, I'm so sorry you have to watch me struggle with cling wrap, shrink wrap again. This is like a recurring a recurring theme in every single one of my videos. Okay, so while I'm struggling with that, um, the deck 
I thought the, the material was different from the black one, um, but it's not. It's actually the same nice velvety um, texture to the cardboard, which is a very, very welcome um, feature. I, uh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, so the velvety texture is very welcome because I absolutely loved it on this deck and I am glad that it has continued. So look at all the, the detailing on this deck. You've got this amazing gilding and I love the effort that they have put in to make the you know to differentiate the boxes a bit so it's not just the exact same motif just with a different background so i do love that right so um i think it was halfway through my thought process so I, the reason i didn't get the first um edition was because of the borders but beyond that the box of the first edition was really huge it was about this size like both of them combined um, and I thought it was a bit unnecessary because the guidebook wasn't really that big and um, they basically spread the deck into two halves, I think. I can't remember. I was playing around with my friend's deck, but I, what I do remember is that the deck was a bit unwieldy, so I didn't really like it. And this one has these, um, I can't remember what these are called, something to do with UV, I think. Um, and recently, more and more decks have been using this kind of printing technique. Um, it's so gorgeous. And I think one of the first ones I've ever encountered that used this was the True Black Tarot. And I really love that one. So, um, the words, unlike this one, there aren't any much, um, there's not much information on it. But this one, um, we've got way more text. Right, so this is a 400 GSM cardstock, so that is um, really sick. And I think it's the same for this deck. So let's get to it. Uh, oh, look at that. It's so gorgeous. Right, very sturdy box. And in comparison, yeah, this one... To be honest, I think the quality on this one's better. You don't see the puffy um, sides, while you do see the very rough cardboard on this one. Um, so I would prefer this one. You can see that the edges are also wrapped. This one, the edges are just left open. So um, I would say that this one wouldn't last as long. But still all in all a fantastic box puts most mass market decks to shame and let's see what's inside oh my god okay so this is the guidebook it's gorgeous it's flashy um and i think it's exactly the same guidebook so even for the guidebook you can see that the effort taken to um you know switch it up a bit I love that there's no title on the guidebook because it's obvious what it is and I think this is the same book. Oh, so even the first page is different. This one says it's Rats of Fate created by Blair Porter and Brit June and this one is the Ouroboros instead. So this is a 2020 deck and yeah, let's see if the text is basically the same. Ask body, and you've got ash. So you've got the tr the the animal, the um the, the plant, and the crystal. And let's see if it's exactly the same on page seventeen. And it is. So the text is exactly the same. So it's just aesthetically, it's different. Um, in terms of size, they are exactly the same as well. And you can see that um. For the new deck, it's not as um, well made, I think, in my opinion, because you can see how the paper doesn't really um, fit together as well as the black one. But beyond that, and this is a deck that I have used for the past year, 
so um, you can see even with the wear and tear it still looks better quality so not that it matters that much I'm just going to um, point out everything that I notice right so the deck is amazing oh it's such a luxurious velvety feel I really love it so the deck is holographic on this one you can see the holographic backgrounds on these cards which I absolutely love um, while the black one and look at the black one you've got this nice gold here you've got this nice design so in terms of effort I would prefer the black one's packaging although that hole there is a bit concerning because some of the cards gilding is exposed here so I'm always terrified that something would scratch it when I'm transporting it. So simple enough to slide this off. No shrink wrap inside, which I absolutely enjoy. Card stock wise, they are oh, so this deck is slightly thicker than um, the black one. It could be because I have been handling it, but it also could be because of the thin layer of holographic material. And you can see that the card sizes are basically the same, same card sizes and um, same type of gilding. Yeah, exact same shade, I think. No, yeah, exact same shade of gilding. So I really love the, the matte gilding on these decks because um, I, I don't know, I just prefer it to the shiny one uh, and it looks sparklier as well but um, we also have to be thankful that it's because it's because of the bet high quality of printing that these can last um, if this was a mass market deck I would worry that it will um, peel off really quickly but from experience I have been shuffling these for a while and they still look fine so I'm not all too concerned about it and in terms of texture, some bit that has that kind of missed the gilding process there, nothing big. It, there's a slight nick here. And yeah, so tiny, tiny problems, not really problems. So I don't mind. And look at how bright it is. So this deck does combine the energy of elements. Um, so you can see the elements. So even though this is black, it's not the other rose gold version where there are no background um, motifs at all. It's just pure black ground, um, pure black background. So you can see that um, both of these decks do have um, a colored background that kind of give away what element they are. So the black one has this additional um, square border. This this one is just, yeah. So the image is bigger as well because they don't have to uh, make space for a border. So the, the gilding itself is bigger. And I think there are some differences I can't. Oh, it's because it's bigger, so the eyes look bigger, but yeah. So gorgeous. Okay, uh, wrong card already. <laughs> okay, so patience. And I, what I do love about the effort is, I, at first I assumed that the background would simply be the background of this, um, you know, to just change the saturation and the hues, but the backgrounds are completely different. These are all the clouds, while you do see the trees here. So in terms of um, symbolism of the background, I would prefer this one. You can easily tell that this is earth element, while this one could, you know, it's anything goes. It could, it's clouds, so it could be air could be water I don't really see the earth element from it it's so 
shiny. So another big difference is um, because of the holographic uh, layer, this is a really nice smooth matte, while this one has the luxurious velvety um, rose petal kind of texture on it. Oh yes, and the back of the cards are very different as well. So this one, the moon here and you know the dark energies, it reminds you perfectly of the night um, while this one is very much um, an energy of expansion of the sky of joy and daytime so I really love the two decks even though the images are exactly the same um, the energy invoked is different and we've got withdrawal so what's interesting is even though it is basically the same image there's so much effort taken to not be exactly the same this one has um, the radiating lines while this one is, looks more like a symbol and a, man, a mandala even so that's so different what I would have liked to see more in this is I think those are mountains so that there is a nod to the um, the uh, earth energies but um, it's not really that much whereas this one you can just see the trees and you instantly know yep yeah, earth element so if you look at the font the words are exactly the same size i believe so interesting i love that they took effort to you know differentiate some of the cards release and oh it's sticking Oh, it's not sticking. Okay. So we've got release. Again, this is a very obvious green, while this one is like a... Yeah, like an aura layer, I guess. And I would have to say that because of the lack of contrast on the dark edition, you can't really tell what the symbols are unless you flash it in the light like that. And even so, you kind of lose focus of the background. While for this one, because of how simple the background is, the images really pop in your face. You can look at that. They are the same shine, but um, you can see how different the effects are. And it's so obvious that this is a frog in here, but it took me months before I even noticed the frog on this one. So, <laughs> yeah. And that's boundaries. Get wild. Okay. Oh, and the trees make a comeback here. So you do see the trees here this time. That's interesting. They might have shuffled the backgrounds, actually, because the trees do look mighty familiar. I think it might have been on one of the previous cards, so they have the same background and they shuffled it, I think. Yeah, there we go. So this is essentially the same background, just used on different cards. I don't really mind, because that's clever, it, it switches things up, but um, it is a recycled background after all. But again, I really have no issue with that. Nature. Strength. This one both have the moon in the background, which is very interesting. And because of this line here, this reminds me of that one card with the line in the middle. There we go. So you can see that um, the backgrounds are recycled, more or less. <laughs> Strength and share wisdom. Ah, so this card is different. So share wisdom is a different design altogether. 
Is this the cover card of Lumintar? No, it's not. Why does it look so familiar? Was it the guidebook? That was. No, it wasn't. Huh. Where have I seen this before? Probably online. And I have to say that in terms of sturdiness, this one's cards are sturdier, perhaps because of the holographic layer on it, um, than this one's. And these do feel a bit more hardy because this one feels like rose petals and you can feel the paper while this one feels more like plastic. So I feel like this one has uh, more sturdiness but whether or not that lasts uh, will remain to be seen. So basically um, the design in the center is the same but they just changed it up a bit. It is an interesting I'm so glad I got this now because even like there are some cards that are different and that that, that makes me very happy. <laughs> Next, higher perspective, basically the same. So if there's the same for now on, I'll just speed through it because I don't want to take up too much time as well. And I think what's what needed to be said has been said. So this is gonna be like a walk through um like a flip through. Shadow. Oh, the holograph. Oh my god, look at that. It's so gorgeous. Dare to dream. Transmute. Soul work. So this is one of the first cards I've ever seen from this deck. And of course the soul work card was a lot um in the original edition is a lot brighter than this. Gorgeous. And you can see how the gilding has lasted through um a year of use. Versatility power. Oh, this is such a shiny card. <laughs> Reclaim Gorgeous Manifest Oh these two look so similar together And they're both um, somewhere in the desert it seems So that's gorgeous Oh look at that it's So gorgeous Take risk don't know why I pronounced that so weirdly, but uh, destruction. Movement. Oh, this is gorgeous. So there are some clear winners. Some of them look better. It was the black background while some of them just look amazing with the light background. So some of them just Really? Oh my god, look at that. It's just so gorgeous. Okay, next, get curious. So, some difference as well, there is that half moon um, on top, and you will recognize that half moon as basically this one rotated like that. So I am not against um, reusing some elements because uh, we can't really expect them to the artist to create something new on every single card. Ugh, so gorgeous. Next we've got Sacred Sexuality. Surrender. Aha. Uh -huh. So the Surrender card is different on these two decks. Um, one of them is like a Weeping Willow, the other is... looks like the cover card actually. Is it the cover card? Yeah, this is the cover card. Very interesting take on Surrender. Um, yeah, it's a very interesting difference because they are such different images. What I love about these, this deck's art is the ability of the artist to 
speckled these just so perfectly that they just provide that additional bit of detail that really makes all the difference. Now this is the play card. This is honestly my least favourite card of the deck um, because all of the others are symbols while this one is just two dolphins so it does feel a bit out of place. I've got self-love, so self-love is different as well, you can see way more detailing in terms of the starburst patterns, but this one does have this halo around it, so they are a bit different. And compassion, more or less the same. Okay. And we've got Connect to Heart. Get Creative. So because of the holographic background, you can't really see the specks of gold. Um, yeah, you can see how the specks of gold don't really stand out. But for here, it just looks amazing. Look at how amazing this mattering is so there is a difference in um, aesthetics and up till now i don't have a winner i see pros and cons in both decks so yeah i guess that's the side of enjoying the deck so this is trust so what i love about this edition is how obvious the elements are. You can see just by um, flipping through that the elements are shown very clearly. While here, if you flip through, the color gradient really isn't um, that obvious. So you can't really use the backgrounds as um, to tell the suits, not like the shadow edition. alchemist so way more speckles on here they could be the same but just so light against the light background that you don't really see it when it comes to cards like these um, the, the shadow edition is the clear winner and we've got Ancestors, exactly the same. Uh, we've got Ascension. So we've got the moon in both cuts, um, and we've got another moon up there. So, to be fair, I do love the um, symbol, but I never liked this. Um, whatever that is, it's a lot to take in it um you know it retracts the importance of the symbol because the background is so distracting so i never really liked this card but here it's perfect because you get the same moon you get that same idea but you can see the um symbol a lot clearer uh, we've got the creator very beautiful cards. I love them both. Um, I can't really decide which one I like better. Okay, we've got Death. And this card is living embodiments that, you know, as long as you can see a rainbow, it doesn't matter what um, symbol it is, it just looks happy. The Explorer. Fate, beautiful card on fate, look at that, and we've got love, aha, so this one never got me into the idea of love, because even though you can see the pink um, background, it has been darkened to a maroon, and maroon and love don't really, you know, 
it doesn't really mean love to me so here we've got this gorgeous bright colors it really does scream love at you so clear winner is that card and we've got the I can't pronounce this name I don't know if it's Magi or Maggie or Maggi um yeah that word the ma basically a magical magic user the observer I think I prefer this one this card uh-huh okay and we've got the outlaw it works they both work I can't really <laughs> The side and we've got paradox beautiful the pillar this one I've always um, felt it was a little weird because there are clearly two pillars and it's called the pillar um, which made me think is this considered one pillar or is this more like a gate I don't know I'm not I'm not an architecture person myself a hop some difference on this there this card so we've got the revolutionary here and I think it's very clever um, how they um, decide what to change because here it's so black that you kind of need the um, the image showing that it's giving off radiance um, so it looks brighter um, on a dark background but here, if you added that, it would have looked redundant. It's be more beautiful when it's you know it's clean. It's to the point, and um, you don't really need that because it just looks like a bright day. So the torch isn't you know the radiance of the torch isn't really that big an issue. We've got the sage, same Z's. We've got the seeker. Okay, so looking at these cards, I totally prefer this one because it fits the energy. This one looks a bit morose, but this one, it fits the energy of, you know, finding things and perhaps receiving them as well. The Sovereign. Wow. Okay, so the Sovereign in this card reminds me of like a kingdom in heaven while that sovereign that doesn't really remind me of much um so that's that big difference you can see okay and we've got the underworld card which is the same underworld card i prefer the black one is this one I don't know what's happening um, it doesn't look like the underworld even though I think you said stalactite so it's probably a cave from I wouldn't you know I wouldn't necessarily think that at first glance we've got the universe more or less the same I think this one suits the energy better because you've got the space um, energies in it the void cards like the void you really do need a darker background to pull it off this one does not in any way look off you like the void um, this is the warrior gorgeous card Okay, and we've got the weaver, which is different. So the the um, crescent makes a reappearance, so it's different on these two. And you've got the um, stars on the hand as well as the Ouroboros surrounding it. Meanwhile, this one looks like it's weaving threats um, against the sword. So. Image wise, I do prefer this one. I think the image is beautiful, but in terms of weaving, I prefer this to be the symbol because I don't really see much weaving here. I mean, sure, 
the weaving the snake but it's not you know it's not that convincing and another thing to note is there's this energy coming down from the spear um from the moon down the sword downwards this one is the energy from you outwards so there is a clear difference in direction so there is a clear difference in energy the wildling basically the same so i never got why the wildling was represented by a pair of swords because i would assume that um the wildlings wouldn't use um swords that use like clubs or something um is that racist to wildlings <laughs> okay so that's that for the comparison flips through the thing sorry it took that long so which do you prefer i can't decide myself um i think both of them are gorgeous and i am less to be able to have gotten them both but if you had to choose which one would you choose um i can't really say because they, they both have absolutely gorgeous cards and if you don't compare actually um both decks work perfectly well it's just because we compare them that we see that there are some differences and we think that oh yeah that you know i prefer the card from that deck i prefer the card from this deck and it yeah so let's try shuffling this deck because i haven't shuffled it it shuffles perfectly it's not very slippery i don't like slippery cards because they tend to slip right out of my hand but if you're someone who does jumper cards you might prefer the slippery ones Right, so first shuffle isn't too bad. It is a bit sharp on the edges when I shuffle though. I feel like I'm about to get a paper cut from the sides, but beyond that, it is okay. And let's just do three cards for the week ahead. Uh -huh. So we've got this card. We've got hmm. Aha, uh -huh, then we go this one. And we've got Right, so the week ahead in cards, and that would be the share wisdom cards. So, um, what's interesting is I am doing a lot of classes these few weeks, so sharing wisdom is definitely one of them. Um, I am doing an energy course as well as a crystal course and so it has been crazy packed so far. Connect to heart, so um, when doing that always do it from the heart, don't do it too much from the intellect um, because that tends to distort energy meanings. And strength, so it's going to probably, because I, it's so many of them, so um, I will have the strength to get through it without, I guess, getting drained or tired. So, which deck do you prefer? Because I really just love them both. But do tell me in the comments below um, which deck you prefer and why. Um, and would you consider getting both decks together as well? And there are two other editions of this deck. I think it's the Rose Gold edition and the first one, which I have forgotten. I'm pretty sure it's just called um, The Threats of Fate, anyway. So, yeah. Um, do leave a comment. And recently, most of my time has been spent on selling minerals and crystals. So I do try to get high quality crystals in on my Instagram page, which I will link below as well. Um, 
So do check it out and see if any pieces caught um, catch your eye. And yeah, I really can't decide. So I can't um, in good faith uh, recommend one or the other. I think they're both fantastic and it's entirely up to you what kind of energy you prefer. Would you prefer the darker ones or would you prefer the lighter ones? And that's literally it. So yeah, I hope this video helped. I hope it's... Um, been helpful and entertaining so thank you for dropping by um this is singing from the sanctum of the soul and i will see you again soon thank you again